all my hope has been lost. Blanketed in the tacky department store flocking spray across a sea of plastic pines, I sit here in front of my blazing TV, serenaded by the crackle of a streaming Yule log, consuming my spiked wassail, desperate to recover my life outside of the holiday, but it will not return. I have become Tinsel, sparkler of cheer. My name is John, and my favorite holiday song today is Paul McCartney simply having a wonderful Christmas time. My name is Lachlan, and my favorite holiday song, and I don't know if this is cheating, is uh, Scrooge from The Muppet Christmas Carol. And we're going to make a John Hallmark movie. Welcome to the seven days of Johnsmas. It is today, the sixth day of Johnsmas, December 30th. It is not December 30th. It's December 31st. I did my... I'm, I'm very, I'm, you know, I'm so suspended in like holiday amber right now. Yeah. It's, it's kind of interesting to see you uh, at this late stage of, of this John Smith event. I, I, I'm a little, uh, a little sad. I didn't get to see like the fresh eyes excited for the event, but now we're kind of coming in on that back end when, uh, the, the malaise has really set in for you. Do you know how many movies I've made that have colons in the title? Oh, how long are we talking? Oh, so... It's... We're talking, like... I think the longest title we have is... Mr. Starship, colon, The Night Before Christmas. <laughs> that's a pretty good. Do you want to... That's a, that's a six-word title. It's a six-word title, and it has a colon in it. We this... also have Podcast, colon, Princess of Mistletoe. That's also a really good title. Can't wait to hear that one. Crazy Bluegrass, colon, Meet the Santas. Okay. <laughs> It's it's intense, Lachlan. I I know this There's is cheating. So We're many. supposed to generate the title, yeah? We 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 are supposed to generate the title. Let how me, do we how how do pull it up? <laughs> how do we feel about like uh Scrooged, Elf, like a punchy one word title? That'll, a does that A punchy one word title could be a lot of fun here. Does that resonate with you at all? I think I think we need to shorten it. I think we need to compress as much holiday cheer as we can into a single word. The classic Christmas holiday film. Ah! It's just <laughs> just a vowel. There's let so me, much wiggle room. Let me get this generator up. Yeah. <laughs> let me show this to you. Okay. And let's see what we can make. As usual, it begins with the, ah, uh, and for. Of course. Because AI is a cursed mistress ah. that we must contend with throughout this our holiday labor. I like I like starting with ah ah. We got place. We got cookie. We got boyfriend. Place. I kind of uh, you know I'm I'm vibing with a place called. Okay. Ah. <laughs> a place called a... Uh, <laughs> boyfriend. We've also got place cookie and boyfriend again. A place called a boyfriend. A place called a boyfriend. You know, what if we do the opposite and we just try and make the longest title just that we've had so far? Absolutely. So, longest one oh. is is what again? Mr. Starship... The night before Christmas. That's six words. That's six so we're at words. four right now. Okay. A place called a boyfriend for the the heart hall. Oh, 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 it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> okay, we got a place called a boyfriend for the holidays. Or we could go a place called a boyfriend for the heart prince. A place called a boyfriend for the heart prince. It's nonsensical enough to uh, uh, be an A twenty four movie. It's true. It could be anything. It could. Be. There's a. I think that there's a lot going on here that we could really work with. I Seems think... like a little bit of um, got some royalty, a little bit of a rom com maybe. Maybe centered maybe. around the holidays. That's 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 something that could start. So I'm gonna put this here as an option in okay. our doc. Now, 
my dad, upon finding out that I was doing this, had one request of me. Mm-hmm. He said that I needed to try and work this in somewhere. So I'm just going to type one word in here and see what happens. Quasimodo. Okay. Okay. The. Quasimodo the wedding singer? Is that anything? <laughs> Quasimodo the wedding dress? Quasimodo the wedding geese. I'm going to shuffle. I think uh, we if, if we did wedding dress, it could have been a, a, a movie about a uh, sentient wedding dress. Um, it could have, yeah. Quasimodo the wedding dress... Thanksgiving. The wedding dress Thanksgiving. <laughs> Happy happy holidays. It's Thanksgiving again. Quasimodo the wedding dress Thanksgiving. Okay. Hmm. We could try again with Quasimodo. I feel like we got yes. off to a little bit of a rough start with wedding. I, I think so. I'm gonna I'm gonna try generating a title from scratch and then inserting Quasimodo. Okay. Let's see. Wraps A Boy, Boyfriend. What is up with place cookie and boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Wraps a royal Quasimodo. Quasimodo. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Wonderful. Wonderful. Exclamation point. Wraps a Quasimodo, period. Wonderful exclamation point. <laughs> that could be that hey. I'm willing to work with it. I, I like that one. I like that one a lot. Raps, raps a royal Quasimodo. Wonderful. Wonderful. Do you wanna? Do we wanna take another swing? See what we'll uh, see if anything like really speaks to us. Yeah. One more. One more. Just one more generation. One more again. Okay. We got bells new and well. Incident is speaking to me. I frankly. like that. Incident, the <laughs> Woods is calling me. I really like Woods. Incident. It's just the Woods. It's just. It's, it's gonna have a colon in it at this point, but I don't care. It's just a holiday version of that movie where Leo DiCaprio gets mauled by a bear for twenty minutes. <laughs> Incident. The Woods, Ordinary Miracles, or Love? I kind of like The Woods Miracles. Yeah. Under. The. French. And you know what we could do? Is we could still work Quasimodo into there because he's French. He is French. That's a good point. Incident. The Woods Miracles under the French. Okay. So we've got. A place called a boyfriend for the heart prince. Mm-hmm. Wraps a royal Quasimodo, period. Wonderful exclamation point. Mm-hmm. Incident, colon, the woods miracles under the French. <laughs> this is the, I really like the last one. Like that one speaks incident, to me the colon, most. The woods miracles under the French, yeah. My, my favorite part about it is how much knowledge I have about the country of France and like the fun references I can make about the French because I have a whole lot of knowledge about it really yeah big That's time huge huge amount huge, huge amount of knowledge about the french huge knowledge big knowledge the most big knowledge. knowledge good yeah so i mean i think perfect. that i i kind of i kind of have a concept like percolating in my head oh bit. i would love to hear that i think that this is a historical dramedy okay that is also a christmas movie can it begin like he's not in the any any more of the movie? It just begins with Leo DiCaprio getting mauled by a bear in the woods. I think it begins with Leo DiCaprio getting mauled by a bear in the woods. Leo DiCaprio is an English soldier in the middle of the Hundred Years' War, and he gets yes. mauled by a bear in the woods. And Excellent. but we cut. But this is a family channel, so we cut away before we see any of the gore. We just hear it all. Yep, just hear just the, the sloppy meat meat sounds <laughs> of being mauled. Mm-hmm. And we pan up to reveal Quasimodo. There he is. And he, he looks at Leo and says, 
that's what you get for disrespecting my bear. But he says it in French, and then he calls the bear back to him. It's his pet. Yes, exactly. This is Quasimodo's pet bear. This is Quasi. Yeah, this is Quasi's bear. And he is saving France from the English invaders. Ooh. For Christmas. Absolutely. You see, he is he, Quasimodo is now a vigilante, a, a vigilante Frenchman. Yes. In the middle of the Hundred Years' War. Yes, he's on a mission. A mission. For, I was going to say a, a mission for God, but I'm pretty sure that's why the English were there, right? They were both on missions from God. They were both on missions for God. Okay. Yeah, because the English were there for that, but Joan of Arc was also on a mission from God, too. Good point. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. So everybody's on missions from God. Everybody loves God. Huge about the guy. Yeah, and you know what? It's Christmas season, which means that they've got to do extra war crimes for God. They got to do extra war crimes because uh, this is Jesus's birthday. They really need to put out a good a good show for for the big man upstairs. Mm -hmm. The Pope has like declared a war crimes competition. <laughs> oh, that's pretty my good. My dad's listening to this. I'm joking. No, <laughs> <laughs> this is all satire. <laughs> Let's not talk about the crimes of the medieval popes. We don't need to do. That. <laughs> don't need to discuss. Yes, okay. Woods Miracle, okay, incident the Woods Miracles under the French. But in the middle of all this defending, mm -hmm. I think, and this is this is just me spinning some stuff off the dome here, I think yeah, yeah. maybe Quasimodo, he misses his job in the bell tower. Oh, is he like trying, is he like John Wick style trying to earn his way out by completing an impossible task? Ooh. So he can go back to his true passion, which is bell ringing. Yes, exactly, Ex exactly. So I is think this I'm with you? Is this a is this a Christmas movie in the way that like uh, Die Hard, I think, and like Iron Man Two are Christmas movies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. I think this is a Christmas movie in the same way that it's taking place around Christmas. Yeah. Okay. And the results of the movie will lead to him having a better Christmas. Yeah. He like I think we have. We have the opening shot and the final shot, right? Absolutely. It Like, the final shot is definitely him climbing the bell tower of this village, fighting his way through the English who have occupied it. Mm -hmm. Like, very much, like, almost like, a, like, saving Private Ryan style. <laughs> <laughs> and he gets to the top of this bell tower right at midnight on Christmas Eve, and as it becomes Christmas, he rings the bells. And he rings the bells. Yes, absolutely. So we've got a beginning, we've got an ending, we just need to figure out what meat makes up the middle. Yes. Does the bear die? Um... Oh, I mean, if it's a John Wick... If it's a John Wick, I think the bear dies. I think the bear gotta... I think the bear's gotta go. That's the incident in the woods that leads him on this path of rage. Yes. I think the miracles under the French are the French lives that are saved by this incredibly violent Quasimodo rampage. Exactly, yes. Like where your head's at. We're, yes. we're, we're creating something beautiful here. I think there's gotta be a moment... Where the English are like trying to get to the church to cl to claim uh, sanctuary, mm -hmm. and Quasimodo says, "There is no sanctuary here for you." <laughs> or something. <laughs> so we okay. We got to figure out the one liner. He definitely does a one liner there. There's got and there's got and it has to have something to do with sanctuary because that's the whole thing that he does. Sanctuary exactly. for Esmeralda. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, so hmm, one liner. Oh God, what's the one liner? bunch of bunch of english trying to come into the uh church to claim sanctuary mm -hmm. he says no don't don't come in don't don't come in here uh, not allowed oh if you if you try to claim sanctuary i swear i'll ring your bell <laughs> something something like that is that anything <laughs> Some, um it's not punchy enough i i do i do recognize that Hmm. There is no, no, can't do that. No, no. Um, it, I, I'm trying to see if there's like any like jokes about like penance or confession we can make here. I mean, penance, penance could be something. Yes. 
oh, no sanctuary without penance as he like cuts the guy's head off. Oh, that that's it. You, there we you go. You just got it. You that was there it. There we that go. Was it. That was it. That was it. That was it. <laughs> there we go. No we making... sanctuary without penance. We are making such an ultra violent Christmas movie right now. Oh. Yeah, we kind of are. <sighs> it's it's like it's like this holiday like makes me want to make something violent. Yeah. It's like fi- it's like too too far and too deep into the Oh no. Oh no, Lachlan. Getting getting a little bit too deep into it. I I've got oh. a little holiday celebration coming up this weekend and I'm already ready to put my forehead through a drywall. <laughs> what have I done, Lachlan? I don't know. <laughs> Why did I commit to this? The rage is coming out. <laughs> okay, so what what is like Quasimodo's signature weapon? I mean, I didn't just say cut a guy's head off. Yeah, he's got to have a, a blade of some sort. There's also no there's no reason why he couldn't have like used that soldier's blade. So we can still That's come up true. with a like a signature weapon here. I mean, I feel like he's got like an axe. This might now tell me if this is too silly. I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring. I'm going through another run right now. Okay. Um What if so you know, you know the like handbells that people yes, use? Yes, a club it's uh, like uh, yeah, uh, like a handbell uh, club. A handbell club. And so it's like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Or like even a staff with like a handbell on the end of it. Like Absolutely, yeah. Something oh, along yeah. those lines, I feel yes. would be very powerful. Oh man, the bell tolls every time he takes a life. Uh, oh my god, yes. That's the <laughs> tagline. <laughs> oh, subtitle nailed it. <laughs> Every time a bell rings, an Englishman gets brained. Need it to be rhymier, but um, <laughs> something. That's something. Okay. Well, obviously there's horses in this just because it's a historical action f- thriller. Yeah, that's where the horses so come in. I, I forgot about the horses. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, there have been horses in some of these. The more important thing about John's miss is getting me in there somewhere. Oh, yes. Um, And I think... I could be like the fat friar who hears his confession and also is drunk all the time. Maybe, maybe we <laughs> tell me if this like, is I'm too a, mean. Maybe I'm a Belgian maybe, monk. <laughs> maybe, maybe we cut Leo, give him the axe. You're there right in the beginning <laughs> with the bear. <laughs> yes. I feel like it would be able. It, it would be an opportunity for you to like really branch out with your like like physical comedy and acting and like stuff. Oh, that's work. true. It'd be huge for I, your resume. Just be like some blundering English Lord. Who's like, yeah. who's like a uh, wandered away from his like unit that he's leading. And then Absolutely. I'm, I'm bear dinner. And then you're bear dinner. Yes. Yes. But then I'm the, I'm the inciting incident then. Yeah. You're because the whole reason that this the movie unit, happens. The unit comes back and captures the bear and mm-hmm. then baits the bear to death. Exactly. Yes. And Quasimodo goes on a rampage throughout this French village that they've occupied. Mm-hmm. Yep, you are you are the butterfly uh, leading leading to the events of this movie. You're the you are the flap of a butterfly's wing. I'm the Alfie Allen. I'm so sorry, I don't know the reference from uh, from John in John Wick. Alfie Allen is the one who like oh that's wants, his name wants to buy the car. The the yes. actor. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's the actor's name. Okay, got it, got it, yes. got it, got it. Did not yes. know his name, but I know. Don't know the yeah, character's name either, but I know the character you're talking about. He's a uh, Lily Allen's younger brother, like in real life, and also oh, cool. he was in Game of Thrones. Oh, okay, yeah. No, yep, I, played, I've got him. Theon. Got him in my brain. Got an image of this man. Good with faces, bad with names over here. Yep, I am great with names of actors, and yeah. nobody else. <laughs> uh, my 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 knowledge of of names is borderline encyclopedic when it comes to actors that i like see a lot i haven't watched john wick in a minute so (laughs) definitely (laughs) haven't been scrolling through imdb pages for for that movie what about now now who is playing quasimodo in this art violent christmas movie this this might be because i just saw the trailer for another uh john wick like um centered around the holidays uh, David Harbour's playing an ultraviolet Santa Claus. That's true. And I feel That's like true. David Harbour or a David Harbour type for Quasimodo could be good. 
I feel like, let me come at you from another angle. Yeah. Have you seen the uh, pictures of Bradley Cooper doing the Elephant Man? Oh. Like on stage, like contorting his body? Let me see here. Yeah. Bradley Cooper, Elephant Man. I typed Brad Cooper. <laughs> that's, what he, that's what he wants his friends to call him. <laughs> That's pretty good. I feel like he could pull off the physicality. So maybe somewhere between a Bradley Cooper and a David Harbour. I, you know what? I think they should both audition for it. And, you know, we can we can pick on the day. Yeah, so just have them both show up, both being promised the role, not realizing that it's a, uh, a competition right at the start. And in fact, the way that they get it is they do fight to the death with the bell cudgel. Oh, they do. So it's also like a little bit of a snuff film on the side. Exactly. Exactly. This is a family show, so don't look up what that means. Don't look it up. Don't. uh, Yeah, this is a family show. Sorry about that. I haven't cursed yet, have I? (laughs) Neither of us have cursed. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. I think we're okay. (laughs) Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. I want. Okay. (laughs) Do a little counter in the top right corner of this podcast every time I've cursed. (laughs) I've done enough episodes that there would be a couple on there. Oh yeah. Same. Same. Uh. Last year, when it was Coltsmas and not Johnsmas, mm-hmm. Mike and I both cursed, and he censored it with a donkey hee haw. It was <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> oh, that's so that's so much better than just a beep. Yep, a little blip it out. So, is is that a Colt or a John classic? The movie, I believe. I feel. I feel. I, there's probably like a little bit more meat that we could throw in there, but I mean, like, do, that would do just you be flavor. Throw... Do we want to throw Esmeralda in there somewhere? Ooh. And maybe like the ghost of Frollo or something. So this is this is Disney's Hunchback of Notre Dame. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> um Oh, maybe maybe there's is like not, maybe not necessarily super like actually supernatural, but like the sins of Quasi's past like are haunting yeah, him, like he, and so yes. like he thinks that he sees and talks to Frollo. Um, yes, like when he, he's perfect. feeling immense guilt about all of the the lives that he has taken. Mm-hmm. But then Frollo's like, "But if you're truly on a mission from God, there is no cost not worth bearing," which convinces us and. Which convinces us, the audience, that in fact, oh boy, this is a very bad thing he's doing. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) I I like a Christmas movie where there's some ghosties, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, maybe it can just be a ghost. France is probably haunted as all get out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Especially during the Hundred Years' War. Oh, big time. The atrocities. The atrocities. (laughs) Also, uh, I was was a little bit... um, uh, distracted for a minute ago a minute ago can't talk because i was frantically googling i couldn't remember the guy's name um another good contender for quasimodo uh would be doug jones doug jones quasimodo oh my right? god we got it that that's it right we got it no actors have to be murdered we just hired doug jones it's just doug jones for all of it's it it's just doug jones yeah yes that's perfect greatest monster yeah. movie like physical actor of all time Throw the, some, the pale man the fish man the fish like, man as well oh my god pretty much everything yeah, just truly incredible baron afanas mm-hmm. like ev- everything he's perfect he's it's exactly doug. who we need it's doug it's all yeah. it's got to be doug we got to get doug in here which means that i think we get guillermo del toro in for some rewrites uh Ooh. and get him like a an, an executive producer credit as well and then i think this takes it to a whole new level i think that we maybe give each other the boot and then just have guillermo come in and like work his magic we write the treatment we give it to guillermo del toro and okay. this is now a guillermo del toro movie and you know what if it doesn't resemble anything like that at least the title will still be incident, incident. <laughs> the, the woods, woods miracles, miracles under the french under the french <laughs> Oh, man, I really thought we had that one synced. I think it was close. It was close. You know what? We'll see what happens in the edit. Perfect. (laughs) Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the sixth day of John Smith. Only one day remains. You're so close to the finish line. 
my prison sentence. You know, tomorrow is the new year. It's January 1st. It's a time of rebirth and renewal. Mm-hmm. What are your, uh, uh, because obviously this is Jan- January 31st. Uh, what is, yeah. um, what are, what are some of your new year's like resolutions? Resolutions. Yeah. Um, hmm. Never watch Perhaps. a Christmas movie ever again. Yeah. I think that one, that's one of them. It's a pretty good one. Um, you know, I think I'm going to give up on eggnog until December. Gonna drop eggnog, huh? Until December, yeah. Not it's gonna just be a year long or year not round. A year long thing, you know. Okay. I, I, I've tried it before as a year long thing, and it's been wonderful, and it's brought me a lot of pleasure. But it's also brought me a lot of pain. Yeah, that you know, something about eggs. It just drinking that much, it it can't sit right. The human body is not not made not for, for that year nog. round nog consumption. Now, what about you, Lockham? What are what are some of your New Year's resolutions? My New Year's res. Oh man, this I. Hold on. <laughs> cut this part. Cut that, cut that. Um, I, I realized this is a perfect opportunity for a plug. Uh, and I realized it as I was saying it, so I broke. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, here I am. Uh, New Year's resolution uh, is to bring back the ghoul tank. Ooh. Yeah. Something's lifting me out of my holiday depression right now. Here we go. It's it's on its way back. Don't have a date, but keep 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 an eye out. And I it, believe there's an even more sinister New Year's resolution coming your way, which we'll hear about soon. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, a little, little bit. bit, a little bit of a resolution. I would say we, that I am resolute about it. We can we can we can do a little bit of a tease here. Yeah, yeah. That is the yeah the sixth day of John Smith's cult classics. Is part of the Pocket Podcast Network, and you know I've I've mentioned my shows multiple times. Home viewing, them's the facts. Both of which are sim- in a similar New Year's resolution fashion are coming back. Ghoul Tank is coming back, as Lachlan said. So mm-hmm. like, keep an eye out, watch the feeds, but also listen to everything else on the network too. Yeah, it's a good network. It's a solid network, solid people, funny shows, spooky shows. Spooky show. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Um, wow. God, lost my train of thought. It's been a while since I've done an outro. Here we go. <laughs> uh, you can find Cult Classics on Twitter and Facebook um, at the Cult Classics PPN. Thank you to Michael Freitag for our extra special holiday intro and outro music. I have been Lachlan. I've been John. And remember... Regretfully, it's John now. Woo! Quality programming right to your pocket.